thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Yeah. Hazardous thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Let out your hazardous thoughts from your hazardous mind. (laughs) Hello, my little hazardites, and welcome to another edition of Hazardous Thoughts. Today we're going to be continuing our adventure within the amazing world of Grim Fandango. Here's a recap on what we did last time. Thank you.
Now year two continues where we left off last time, except now Manny is the owner of a casino called Calaveras. I'm supposing he made enough money to take over the cafe within that year. Unfortunately, not everything is on the up and up as Manny is being blackmailed by the local enforcement, meaning he has to allow him to win every game he plays. In this episode, we meet a few of the other characters within the game. Happily for Manny, Glottis stayed with him and became a piano player. Surprisingly enough, he's quite good. He tells Manny that even elementals have little hobbies here and there. To the exasperation of his staff, namely the Cochet girl, Lupe, you are still waiting for the return of Mercedes, the young woman that left your office in year one. Now the story begins with Lupe informing you that you have a visitor, hinting that it may be someone he's been waiting for for a long time. When you do manage to get outside, you have an encounter with a shadowy figure you believe to be Mercedes, but unfortunately it turns out to be a really creepy bird. I'm thinking it must be a mockingbird because it's mocking Mercedes' voice. When the bird flies away, you run to the viewing deck and look in the direction of where the bird left. Eventually you spot Mercedes being dragged onto a ship by Domino. But when you try and go and save her, you manage to get hold of the gangplank and attempt to pull yourself up and onto the ship. But for some unknown reason, Mercedes comes to the door and throws a bottle at your head, causing you to fall to the waters below where you are once again fished out by Valesco, and thus our adventure in Rubacabra begins, during which we're going to meet a few more characters, some of which will try to impede your journey. Like last time, I'm not going to go too much in detail over the story, as it will become more apparent throughout the gameplay. But going off of year one, I'm sure that this episode will be just as chock-a-block with puzzles and elements to tantalise your every nuon. And away we go. Evening, Lupe. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in them. Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup, no. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay!
Luigi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. So I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. I'd better go finish packing. Aye, you do that, son.
there it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Manny? Hola. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Sit down, Charlie. Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. 
I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Little Noir Perrymonk, number two, who is the winner? Your chips, monsieur. This must be my lucky day. Mesdames and messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come! Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it.
Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Looks like a great night for cat races. We're about ready to start. It's Abercrombie. Anybody there? Look, I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. Having a little trouble. I'm sorry, monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut Lola those doors Swamble. and drive. Right. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul.
Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like a turkey baster. I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. No, we just need someone for the dunking booth over at the club. Funny guy. Nick sure gets around. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. This is gonna get me in trouble.
Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I think it would look cool on my utility belt. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Business goes on back there, Carla. Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. Are you sure I can't just... Don't touch. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Virago's cigarette case. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my God. Give me that! It's a bomb!
another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. One, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever going to work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. locked. Man. 
see me like this. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that thing. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, when I've had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. This is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I'll tell you tomorrow. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I, I think I know that one. If I remember right, it goes a little something like this. Oh, my boat's got a rusty anchor, rusty as she can be. Every port I go, I drop her, 
but she always come back to me. Oh, rusty anchor, going down, down, down. Oh, rusty anchor, guess I gotta hang around. Rusty anchor, but man, she don't love me. Hell, this morning I woke to find us both a drifting out to sea. In every chance I get, I thank her for never leaving me. Well, my bones are carved up driftwood, but she won't never set them free. Oh, rusty anchor. Going down, 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 oh rusty anchor. Guess you gotta hang around. Well. What'd you think? I thought you were created just to drive. Well, over the years, you know, even a demon dabbles here and there. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? That monster upstairs is running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. some sleep over here. Going down? Probably. Later. Sorry about my friend. 
I'll get him out of here if you want. Who, oh, Glottis? He's all right. He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Maybe you could take me down now? Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. No, oh, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has everything? Give him a brick. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Okay, nighty night. Please, don't be back here. When I come back and find you here, you had better be gone. What are you doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here! Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. use when they're alive and stuff they don't have much more wow somebody really liked this cat beloved sandspoof this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season, when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. Fuji, that smell. It's peor que la muerte. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. I'm not supposed to be back here.
Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, oh, oh. Get that mouse! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Mmm, mm, mm. fruity, but voluminous. on the job. Ah, it's empty. <coughs> Ruben, where Ooh. are you? Aha! Oh, mon dieu. Take a little nap. Hey, voo, eh? Well, the keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Full of double end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie.
right many. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from more liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones, less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. You've got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still.
Nimm mal so gern. Hold still, Lotario. Dead. Ach, Käfer, wake up. I don't work on drugs. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle booze, huh? Hogy te azt gondolod, hogy engemet te nem fogsz kifizetni? Te teljesen bolond vagy. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. Am I here? Well, he's sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. You make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? So, is he still going? Selmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you've been showing up to work in the morning. Take care of yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exciting day, huh? I'm still buzzed from that explosion. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Just a sip. Packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but... 
I just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and, and, and I'd, oh, mother! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Stinky, but it could be worse. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrillo? 
You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. It looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers.
don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? It is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. What's the buzz, boys? That's bad down here, Manny. It's like it's like we want to control the means of, of like, uh, things and stuff, you know? Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week, on the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Easy for you to say, Topsider. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of Production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! 
Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, oh, oh. One of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Sure, of course, I understand. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure, it is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see, uh, number 30, Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skepto, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here, hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Definitely. Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. Here. Oh, another Chowchilla Charlie original. Give me one good reason not to throw you out of here. Because I'll tell Max to fire you.
Okay, betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! You can do it! That's the sugar papa likes! Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly in prison merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte.
Lady Luck. Le numéro gagnant, le 33, noir, entre les passes. 33, black. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numéro 14 est le gagnant. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it. That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. There's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolucion! Mm -hmm. 